In this presentation, we will address the first key question of curriculum design. What are we trying to achieve? To illustrate, we will offer examples from the Soccer Plus player development curriculum that has become the blueprint for many progressive youth soccer organizations. The first element to consider are the curriculum aims. Number one, establish equal opportunity for all members should be a fundamental aim for all youth sports organizations. Although many organizations aim to provide equal opportunity, very few truly achieve this aim. Common practice is best described as offering equal access to participation, meaning each child has the opportunity to practice and play a similar amount of time. Randomly assigning players to teams is common practice, although this often creates significant inequalities, something programs rarely overcome. Number two, establishing performance standards for the players and the coaches is important if we wish to raise expectation. Standards should not only govern behavior, but also create performance expectations at the end of each stage of development. Soccer Plus has developed such criteria for each stage of development. Tied to rigorous assessment program, the coaches and organization can effectively help individual players in their progression and ensure methods and content match the rate of individual development. A true curriculum provides continuity and coherence of approach, ensuring all coaches, regardless of experience or qualifications, have a working understanding of player development will provide the foundation for their decisions. Number four, in addition to teaching young players the correct skills and techniques, we should also strive to promote their understanding. This is best demonstrated when we ask players to perform skills learned in practice in a game situation where the coach has little or no control. Number five, adopting a curriculum provides parents and coaches with confidence in the organization. It is universally accepted that to ensure progression and management of learning, a school must have a curriculum. A curriculum provides external credibility to parents, players and coaches that the soccer organization is planning for the development of players. The Soccer Plus curriculum provides a plan for the child's entry point into the game to the time the player chooses to leave or becomes an adult. A long-term player development pathway from four years old to 18. We hope you enjoyed this video, examining the aims of the curriculum. The next video in the Big Picture of Curriculum series examines the intended outcomes of the curriculum. If you would like to know more about the curriculum model and the products and services offered by Soccer Plus, please contact David Newberry, Director of Player and Coach Development.